Hey guys, welcome to my channel Economics at a glance. So today we will study finally how price effect is equal to the summation of income effect and substitution effect. Well, what is price effect? What is income effect? What is substitution effect? Individually I have covered in my previous lectures. If you have not still seen that lectures, you can easily access through the list I have mentioned in the description box. So let's get started. Well, I have discussed what is individually income effect, substitution effect, price effect. Let's just revise, revise very shortly. When the income increases, budget lines shift. When budget lines shift, we will consume more. And the equilibrium point, new new equilibrium point, when we will join that, it will give rise to income consumption curve. And the change in consumption that is called income effect. Like here x1, xx1, xx2 is income effect. Okay. Similarly, here when the price of one commodity changes, the budget line rotates outward and we need to compensate, uh, we need to use the compensating variation that is decrease in money income so that our purchasing power will be constant as before and so that we have to, for that we need to do what? We have shifted this new budget line downward in such a way that it will be tangent to the initial indifference curve. And as a result of which it will provide the change in our consumption that is xx1 which is called as substitution effect. And lastly price effect what happens here when the price of one commodity declines the budget line rotates outward and the consumption increases due to, change, sorry, due to this decrease in price the change in consumption pattern xx1 is called price effect. Okay, this is very brief introduction about this two effect. Now we will study how price effect is equals to income effect plus substitution effect. Okay, let's see. This is our x axis. We will take good x, good x. In y axis, we will take good y. Clear? This is our equilibrium point. That means we are in this position now. Okay, in this position, let's say M. Okay, suppose I will tell that the price of good X has been decreased. Price of good X will be decreased means we can purchase good X now more. Yes or no? Why more? Because our purchasing power got increased here. Because the price is now less. So we will go for purchasing more of good X. That means here our budget line will rotate outward. Yes or no? So this is our new budget line A, B. Okay. Initially it was A, A. Now it is A, B. Now we will consume here. Okay. This is I, C, 1. This is I, C, 2. So this is, if we will go on decreasing the price of good X, this budget line will rotate onwards and this point, if we will join, it will give rise to Price consumption curve. If we will join this curve, we will, it will give us price consumption curve. Well, we are not concerned about price consumption curve. We are about to know how price effect is equals to income effect and substitution effect. See, now your consumption has been increased from M to M1. Okay, clear? So, M, M1 is your price effect. Okay, total MM1. Remember, MM1 is your price effect. Now we need to do what? We need to use the compensating variation for what? We have to make the purchasing power constant. This increase in M to M1 is due to increasing amount of purchasing power. And purchasing power, why increase? Because price of good has been decreased. So to making the purchasing power constant, what we need to do? We used to do decreasing the money income. Okay, that is called compensating variation. Okay, so for that we need to shift this new budget line that is AB downward. Because when income changes, budget line shift. Your income is decreasing, that means it will shift downward. Downward in such a way that it will be tangent to the initial indifference curve because we have to remain on the same like uh, previous satisfaction line. Okay. So we will, we 
we will do what? We will shift this downward uh, budget line in such a way that it will be tangent to the initial indifference curve. Now what happens? Initially it was X. Our like consumption part. Now it will be Y. Here. Okay. So let's say it is M2. Okay. So the now initially we are consuming OM. Now we are consuming OM2. So this MM2 is your substitution effect. M, M2 is equals to substitution effect. Substitution effect that Now see, in income effect what happens? Uh, what Randall uh, did? Like when income increases, our budget line will shift upward and every time we, we used to consume more. So every equilibrium point when we join, we got income consumption curve. Similarly here what happens? The budget line AB shifts downward to CD. Okay? C and D. That means income has been declined. Income has been declined means we are consuming less now. Okay. We are consuming less now because initially we are consuming OM1. Now we are consuming OM2 where the IC1 curve it got tangent initially. Okay. So this M1, M2, M1, M2 is called as income effect. M1, M2 is called income effect. Have you noted this? Okay. Because I am removing this. Okay. See. So initially what we know that M, M1 is equals to PE. Now we will see. We know that M, M1 is equals to M, M2 plus M2, M1. Right. See. M M1 is equals to M M2 plus M2 M1. M M2 is substitution effect. Just a minute. M M2 here is substitution effect. And M2 M1 is income effect. We have just studied. And what is M M1? That is price effect. Okay. Now they are getting the point. How price effect is equals to the summation of substitution effect and income effect okay getting the point still if you have any doubt you can mention in the comment box you are very free to ask any of your doubt regarding this topic so with this all the price effect income effect substitution effect get over and all the graphical methods all the explanations got over the pdf in the note the note in the pdf form i'll provide you in the description box Still any doubt you can ask in the comment box. So, in the next lecture I will come with the MCQs and important questions related to this topic like demand, income consumption curve, price consumption curve, then substitution effect. So till then thank you so much and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel.